Hi and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the message box widget with the plus add-ons for Elementor. With this widget you'll be able to create so-called alert boxes and it comes with tons of styling and customization options. And as you can see behind me, you can create as many message boxes as you can think of. With this widget, if you can dream it, you can create it. I'm Dave and I'm bringing you this guest tutorial on behalf of the Plus Add-ons for Elementor and make sure to subscribe to their channel so that way you won't miss out on a single update. Okay, so let's dive right into it. Okay, so our very first step is to make sure that our widget is activated and for this we're going to the Plus Settings, Plus Widget, in the search box we type in message and then next to our message box we have a toggle switch make sure this one is switched on just like that click save and then we're going to clear our cache now so we're going to performance part all cache okay and that's it all done already and now that our widget is activated, we can insert it in an Elementor page. So where can we find our widget? If you scroll down the page here, you will find all our plus essential add-ons right here, including our message box. Or you can go into the search box and type in message. And our message box is here again. Now on this page, we already have a few sample message boxes, but let's create our own one and let's insert it in between those two lines of text. And for this, all we have to do is just drag and drop it. Okay, so let's tweak this around. Let's customize it. So the first option available here is the title. So let's go and change this for something else. Maybe the plus add-ons for Elementor. And then we can add a description. So all we have to do is just to enable this. And as you can see, we can change the text here. So let's put our own text. So let's go back to our next section, which is icon and button. So from here, you can decide whether or not you want to display them. So we have, this is our icon and this is our close button right here. So we can decide whether or not we need them. So you can disable them all together. You can keep one or the other or have both. That's really up to you. So let's change our icons. So we have the first one here, which is our main icon. So since this is the plus add-ons, let's look for the plus sign maybe. So we could select this one, for instance. We can insert it. And let's change the one for the close button. Let's click on this. And maybe we can look for something that's got to do with closing a window. So this one here would be absolutely fine. So let's insert this one. And then we have a closing animation duration. So that's in milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is one second, basically, you know. So you can change this maybe. Let's try maybe 1000. Let's save. So let's close this now and look at the animation. Oh, there you go. That took one second to close. Now let me show you with 5000 seconds. So let's update and refresh. Now let's close this. And as you can see, now it's taking a much longer time, five seconds in total. Now let's go back to our title for a few seconds. As you can see from this example here, there's an emoji in the title. So you can also insert emojis in your title. So how can we do this? Well, simply let me show you now. There's a free website, getemoji.com. And from here, you can scroll down the page and select any emoji you want. So let's go maybe with the a thumbs up like this for instance so you right click copy and then we can go back to our website now and then we can just paste it in our title Control v and now we have an emoji in our title now we can also add html tags to stylize our text so let's say we wanted to underline this text we can do it this way so simply by adding the u html tags now let's add some style to our message box and let's start with our background color and our first option is the padding so basically with this we can add some spacing all around our text and push it towards the center of this section so let me show you here if we if we were to add maybe 10 or we can increase slightly up to 15 just like this would be perfect and maybe you can unlink this and remove the bottom part just like that now it's fully centered and then we can add a background color. So either one color, one solid color or gradient. 
So let's start with just one color for now. So let's go and select maybe a bright blue like this. That looks absolutely fine. Now, if you want it gradient, you click on this one and then you can add a second color. So let's add maybe a darker shade of blue this time. So maybe something like this, a bit darker. There you go, that'd be perfect. And then you can tweak the location of both of these colors. So basically, this is the first color. It starts at zero. This one starts at 100. And if you slide this, as you can see, you can move them around and do the same with this one. And then you can even select if you want it to be linear or radial. And then you can even change the angle. So we have 180 degrees at the moment. So let's try 90. So this is 90. So the dark blue will be on the right hand side. Now if we go at, two, at 270, it'll be the other way around. The dark blue will be on the left hand side. Okay, but for now, let's just stick to one color, just like this. And let's discover the other options. You can even add an image if you wanted to. So let's add a picture. And for this, you can select from your media library or upload a new file. So let's select just a picture here, just this one, for instance. So let's insert. And as you can see, we now have our picture in the background. So this is a full picture here, as you can see. So we have a few faces on top, a few glasses in the middle. So you can change the position as well. So at the moment, we have top left, but you could have center center. So it will always center horizontally and vertically. And now you can see we have two small edges here on the side is because our picture is smaller than the width of this section. So we can change this as well. We can change the repeat. So by default, it will repeat the picture. But then if you have no repeat, it will show the color background that we've selected. So the blue. So let's keep it by default for now. And then you can change the size as well. So you can cover. So then it will expand the picture. You can contain. So it will add as many as you can fit. And then you can have it custom as well. So let's remove this for now. And then we can add a border as well. So we can select solid, double, dotted, dashed, or groove. So let's go with the solid one for now. And we can select the width. So basically the thickness of our uh, border. So it could be one. And the higher the value, the thicker it will be. So let's go with one for now. And we can change the color as well. So let's go with dark blue maybe to fit our theme here. That's just perfect. And then we can change the border radius. So basically we have rounded uh, edges here. So let's go maybe with 10 for now. And as you can see, all our corners are rounded. And finally, you can even add a box shadow if you wanted to, just by clicking on this. And then you can change all these settings right there. So let's just remove it for now. Now let's take care of our text here. And for this, we're going to title and then we can change the font. So basically to change the font, it's called typography here. So I'll click on this pencil. But we're going to keep Roboto. That's fine. And maybe we can change the size to 16 and the weight. So basically that's the thickness of your font. So we go maybe with 400. We don't want it to be too bold either. And then we can select our font color. So let's go with a plain color, maybe a darker blue again. So maybe this shade here would be just perfect. And then you can even add a background if you wanted to, uh, and then a box shadow again. And then you can change the color if you hover on top. So if someone was to hover, it could change color. So let's have a quick look. So it's blue at the moment. If I hover on top, it will turn red. Now let's do the same for our description. And again, we can change our typography first. So we're going to keep Roboto. I'm going to put again 16 and 400 for the thickness. This is absolutely fine. And then let's change our font color. And I'm just going to paste the same blue as our title, just like that. And now we can customize our icon. So let's start with our main icon. So this is this one here. OK, so the first thing you need to decide is whether or not you want to keep that pointy arrow by the side. And this is your option here, arrow, enable or disable. If it's enabled, you can change the color as well. So you can have a separate color for your arrow and the main icon here. Now look at this one here. When you hover on top, it changes shape. So that's pretty cool. So let's try to do something similar to this. So we're going to remove the pointy arrow ourselves. Now, as you can see here, we can change the icon size. So that's the icon itself. And we can change the icon width. So that's the background basically. So let's make it a little bit bigger like this. This would be absolutely fine. And let's change our background color. So I'm going to paste our blue again. 
There you go. And now we can add a border radius. So let's go with 10. So as you can see, all these edges are around it. So we just want the top and the bottom one. So we're going to unlink this and remove those two. There you go. And then we're going to do the same on hover. So let's change our background color and the border radius. And this time it'll be right and left. So 10 here and 10 there. So let's have a quick look now. If we hover on top, as you can see, it changes shape. And finally, let's have a look at the options for our close button here. And as always, you can change the icon size and width. You can change the color in normal mode and hover mode. So let's go and just change the color to our blue now, just like this. And that's basically it. So let's have a preview of our message box. And this is what it looks like in the front end. If you hover, it changes shape. And if we close it, there you go. Very nice indeed. So there you go. This is how you can implement the message box widget on your website. And you will agree that it does add a lot of interest to your web pages. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Again, my name is Dave and it was a real pleasure to present this tutorial on behalf of the Plus Addons for the Mentor. And make sure to subscribe to their channel so you won't miss out when new videos are being uploaded. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.